<laughs> and here we are, guys, at the top right part of the map, Taldrium Altar. We have our Zerg player from the team FX Open. It is FXO Lucky. And his opponent here in the top left-hand corner from Team Rain. And up 1-0 in this set. That's our Red Terran player. That is Artist. Okay, so things are going to begin here on Taldrium Altar. And, you know, Lucky... Decides to pick Taldrim Alter, but has to hope that he can get to the point in the game where there's that point around 12, 13 minutes into the game where a Terran player is going to have a pretty good Marine tank composition if the game gets to that point. And they're going to be able to siege up underneath the sweet spot of the natural. Now, if that happens, Lucky's going to be in a lot of trouble. But if he can get past that point, force it into a longer macro game, then, um, yeah, I, I think we're going to see a pretty favorable advantage for our Zerg player. Well, yeah, you're absolutely right. I mean, with these positions, Lucky will need to worry about that siege up underneath is natural. It's just too tempting of a strategy for a lot of Terran players to avoid. Uh, the other thing we've seen on this map quite a bit, especially from Terrans from like Slayers, for instance, is to go for that early Blue Flame Hellion combined with the uh, medevac full of Marines as well. Very early on that we see a lot of players like MMA and Box are trying to. It can be very good in these positions on this map. Yeah. So Rain Artist has a lot of options. And uh, FXO Lucky, you know, has uh, a lot of tools in his Batman belt of Zerg units <laughs> to try to defend against it. That's why StarCraft II is so cool, man. Both players have an equal chance to win. It all depends on skill. And Artist's cool strategy is to go for a 14cc. It appears to probably be oh, a 15. Nice. No, actually, it is going to be a 14cc. I like um, it. This drone, of course, is going to be wondering, hmm, seems a little out of place. Let's see if he checks for any sort of... Uh, proxy structures or anything along those lines. No, he's going to shoot himself back into the main. He probably will uh -oh. see the space here in just a second. He, oh, he oh. barely, oh, he does see it, just barely there we sees go. it with the drone. Now he comes in, gets a good long look at it. And so that's a big relief, actually, for FXO Lucky because now he knows he's not being proxy two racks or anything right. like that. You still do see that on this map every once in a while. Uh, the question is now, will FXO Lucky decide to use that to become aggressive, or will he just kind of continue with the standard game plan? Obviously, he knows he's going to be very, very comfortable with his choice to go hatch first, but where will he go from there? Yeah, he did a little bit more economic build this time around, deciding to put up uh, Extractor after spawning pool, so not going to have super, super fast Zergling speed, but he will be able to reinvest in Queen and uh, defense his Zerglings a little bit quicker. Um, his opponent, though, has barracks coming up at the front, and we'll see how quickly he wants to move. Oh, no, actually, gas is already down, so as soon as this barracks finishes, it's actually kind of a cool timing, because right when the barracks finishes, uh, he'll have enough gas to go ahead and put up a factory. Yep, that is one of the benefits of kind of planning your buildings out that way. Now, um, Lucky, I'm curious to see if he's going to make a few Zerglings and right away start to work on the rocks at his third to take a, as fast to the third as he can possibly. Because, you know, he he knows that he will kind of have this time where he can try to take a very fast third. The sure. only problem is that on, on this map in particular, the corridors at the third are so narrow, it's really tough to use those Tier 1, Tier 1.5 units for Zerg to come through and kind of defend against some of the aggression that you can get from Terran yeah, certainly. in these positions again. No, I, I definitely agree. Um, Hellions that are able to walk around there um, are just going to yeah. be able to force the Zerglings into nice little lines or hug themselves against a wall so that they're not going to be attacked uh, or surrounded too quickly. As if he's making its way in, Ferardis gets killed, unfortunately. Gets killed. Oh, and it doesn't notice the Roach Warren coming up. I do like that choice by FXO Lucky. That is a nice way that Zergs have found to put ter pressure on Terran's early game, especially now that the reactor in Hellion expand has become so popular. I mean, this is a little bit different than your typical reactor Hellion expand, but it's still a variation of that expand. Yes. And uh, Roaches are going to be quite good against it. And uh, our first couple of Hellions are making their way out right now. And uh, one thing that's actually impressed me, and I know it's a small thing, but that's impressed me about Artis is that he has not really been supply blocked ever. He has plenty of supply to make sure that he can push out a ton of units. Um, and other players that have gone after pretty aggressive expand builds, things along those lines, have had problems with that. They get too over eager in producing units and they find themselves supply blocked. But look at this. Lucky just produced eight roaches at the same time, following it up with lings, and he wants to make a big old attack. Yeah, and I think he could certainly do some damage with this. Now, Rain Artist, he kind of can anticipate that this is coming. He's actually making mirages with concussive shell right now as well. So especially if he's able to get a bunker down in time, which 
actually starting one right now, but I don't think it's going to finish in time. He, uh, you know, could do okay, but it's going to be a bit of a tense situation for Artis here for the moment. Yeah, it really is. Lucky is, of course, very, very late to Zergling Speed as he did decide uh, to use his gas in favor of Roaches for quite yeah. a while. Uh, but here come the Roaches. Uh -oh. Now this bunker is not going to be up. It looks like, are they going to go after the SUV? Yes, they do first, and the bunker canceled. is canceled. And suddenly there is only one Marauder and two Hellions out here, and that is not going to be enough to stop this amount of Roaches here. No, the Marauder getting focused down there by some of the Roaches. And at the very least, Rain Artist is going to lose a lot of SCVs to this aggression from Lucky. Yeah, he really is. Um, not just that. I mean, he's down under 30 supply already. He's half the supply wow. of his opponent. Um, there are a ton of SCVs falling. 17 workers killed already in 7 minutes and 45 seconds into the game. Just 12 SCVs remaining for Artis. He has a couple of Marines now out as well. The Marauder goes down right away. That's going to uh, buff for those Roaches for a little while longer. The Zerglings oh, nice. are coming in to clean up the rest. Yeah, nice idea by Lucky to follow that up with some Zerglings, even though they don't have speed quite yet. And, uh, man, I mean, Rain Artist is taking so much damage from this. Even if he holds it off, he's going to be so far behind. 11 SCVs, yeah, and that's wow. it, GG. I was wondering, man, I mean... A very quick game number two, but yeah. Lucky reacting to his opponent perfectly. Yep, I mean, that's uh, certainly an option you can take if you're a Zerg player like that. You see that really early command.